Mabuhai, Kamasakayo, and welcome to another video. So we're going to be repotting some aloes and gasterias in this one. If you saw my previous video, I potted up over 20 Hawarthia plants that were pretty desperate to be repotted. Haven't got that many to do today, thankfully, but after these ones are done, that's pretty much all of the aloes, gasteria and Hawarthia repotted. So the ones we're going to do today is this gasteria little warty, or not so little warty anymore. Got a couple of offsets on it as well, but if those come off, I'll probably pot those up with the mother plant. This one is in my really old soil mix as well and hasn't had a repot in three years. Next is this lovely white variegated Gasteria batsiana. Interested to see how good the roots are on this, just like the variegated limifolia we repotted in the previous video. This has grown well though since Edith sent it to me, and it does feel pretty solid in its pot. This was one single plant as well, but has turned dichotomous. That's where the ground point divides into two equal ground points. Pretty cool. Next is another variegated gasteria. This one calf from Purple and Thorns got for me last year. Grown a fair bit since then as well. Don't think I'll separate this one just yet. I'll pot it up as it is into a bigger pot. I was never a big fan of gasteria in the past, but they are very nice plants. Then some aloes. This is aloe Christmas sleigh that Clyde Morris from Morris Park in the Ozarks got for me a couple of years ago now. Probably my favourite aloe, this one. And this does have a couple of offsets on it as well, which I do want to take off and propagate. Next is this Aloe Descoinsy. This is another that Edith got for me a while back now. Has a little offset on it too. Probably getting on for three years since this one was reported as well. And next is another favourite aloe of mine, Erinacea. Another Edith got for me. First thing you probably notice is that root that's come out of the pot in one corner and gone down into the other. Another one coming up back there as well. Lovely aloe though, this one. Considered one of the more difficult aloes to keep happy, but so far I've not had any issues with it. Right, well unpot them all first. Start with the Gasteria. Pot squeeze. I think there's a lot of roots in here. Well, that's an understatement. Yeah, I think this definitely wants a bigger pot. So you see me do this a bunch of times when I'm completely changing to a new mix. I do like to remove as much of the old mix as possible. Always a good opportunity to check for beasties as well. Things like root mealybug that do like to go into the roots of Gasteria. In fact, when I first bought this plant, it was infested with root mealies and I did have to remove the entire root system from it. Gasteria, like Hawarthia, will shed old roots as well. And I do like to get those out of the root ball. That's that one tidied up. There's quite a few old roots and a lot did come away from the plant. Took all the old dried leaves from around the base of the plant as well. And there was actually three pups on this. Like I said, I'll pop these up with the mother plant. I'll save on space as well. Right, the variegated Batsiana. Pot does feel pretty tight. Hopefully that's a sign of a nice root system. Well, that's surprising. I didn't expect the roots to be this good on it because of how heavily variegated the plant is. Although I'm sure I did read somewhere a while back that white variegation is more stable than yellow. Don't know if that's true. Maybe one of you can tell me in the comments if it is or not. That's that one done. Very nice roots. Actually has a nicer root system than the previous one. Very happy with that. Right, the other variegated Gasteria from Calf. Really nice roots again. So yeah, I don't know if I want to keep this as one big clump or remove some. I 
think just to save on space for now, I'm going to leave it all together. You can always remove some offsets at a later time. Again, just take any old dried up leaves off. That's that one done. Right, onto the aloes. Yeah, this pot feels super tight. I see a lot of roots. Wow, that's a lot of roots right there. That's going to take a while to untangle all of those. Well, that has to be the longest root system I've ever seen on a plant, at least from my collection. That's just crazy. I think I am going to have to trim these as well. That's going to need a pot that's two feet deep otherwise. Don't know how all that fitted into that small pot. Right, the Erinacea. This might have a crazy root system as well. Pot doesn't feel as tight as the previous one. I think it's going to be pretty substantial though. Not one to come out easily. Wow, that's pretty nice again. So like the Gasteria Little Warty, this one had a lot of old dried up roots. I had to be careful with that long root though. That feels like it could snap off pretty easily. Right, the Christmas sleigh. I think there's three offsets on this that I do want to remove because as I said earlier this is one plant I do want to propagate. Roots look pretty good on this. That's the first one. And the other one. And there was actually four offsets in total, three of which already have roots attached. Right, the soil mix. Exactly the same as for the Warthia in the previous video. Half a part cocoa core, half a part worm castings, one part pumice, one part lapillo, and one part kiodama. Same pots as most of the Warthia went into as well. Bit of mesh at the bottom to prevent the mix from falling through the drainage holes. Part of this Bassiana first. You've seen me do this a bunch of times, and after these ones are potted up, that's pretty much every aloe, gasteria, and hawthia that needed repotting finally done. I know some of you have been asking for a complete hawthia tour recently, but I'll include all of the aloes and gasteria in that video as well. The majority of those plants are all in one area now as well. I wanted all the aloes and gasteria and hawthia all together. So that's that one done. I'll get the rest potted up, top dressed and show you at the end. So I'll be back with you in just a minute.
all done and top dressed with some zeolite. So glad the majority of these plants have been repotted now. That's been a pretty busy week and felt like a never ending task. So thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, the next video will probably be a complete collection tour of all the aloes, gasteria and haworthia. So stay tuned for that one. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like and comment. Consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell as well so you know when I upload a new video. You will be safe and well and I shall see you next time. Salam pop alam. Bye for now.